I love New York. It's such a cool city, and I know every time I'm there, I'm, I'm just so happy. And now we're here to do the promo for In the Name of Love, my new single with BB Rexa. We're gonna do Jimmy Fallon tonight, which is gonna be very, very crazy. I don't want to stand behind a DJ booth, play one song, and, and leave leave the stage. I wanted to. I don't know. For me, it, it just made way more sense to to be playing guitar up there instead of just. We rehearsed yesterday and the day before, and it sounds good, I think. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so <I'll get> excited. <laughs> Dropping up that It's always been a dream, I think, to find a good pop record that he writes and perform it live with uh, a band and show everybody that he's more than just a DJ. So it's kind of just a dream come true. So it's something we've been thinking about for going on for like three and a half years. Dude, the two, the two ideas we wrote last night are actually Unreal. fucking sick. <laughs> like, <laughs> how did that happen? Fucking sick. I we no wrote idea. two smashes last night. The room. That's sick. Did you get it right yesterday? No. Seven That's eight also dope. <laughs> That's sick for the third one. I'm just vibing with you. Do we need to record a version of the song that's just these two guitars and the vocal? If I told you this was only gonna hurt If I warned you that the fire would you walk in? Would you let me do it? Look, dude, this is epic. This is so sick. Love, love. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. I'm a little I've nervous. I've been nervous. Because I want to like sing good, you know? Like, because like you sound great. Well, you always sound good in sound check. The energy is really good, which is exciting. And usually sometimes when you do things like this, everybody's freaking out. But it feels really good. And I'm excited. And I think In the Name of Love is going to be a very big moment for both of us. So, wish us luck. We have great music from Martin Garrix and BB Rexha. Different, you know. I'm used to stage, like fireworks, crowd jumping. There's people sitting, like, listening. It's cool. It's different, and I love playing guitar. It was cool to to play it again in front of a few viewers around the world. <laughs> Five hundred times hotter than a jalapeno chili. How was it going? It was fun. It was fun. Really fun. I was nervous, but it was good. It was good. I was not the nervous yeah, for this. Really, you're more nervous for this? Yeah. Thirty people have gotten this room. You know what I mean? Like you can do it. Let's see. First we feast. I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. I feel like shit. I didn't even eat him yet. <laughs> Race it. Love it. Live it. So, I'm ready. And then Martin, you can always tap out. That's a thing that you can always do. Oh! Are you having fun? Time of my life. <laughs> Cheers. Like we talked about before, when you're an internationally famous, renowned DJ, they lay out the red carpet for you. So I want, while you're dying of hot sauce, for you to describe in as much detail you can, as you can the nicest hotel room you've ever slept in. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so much. I love it. I'm just yeah, dying. That's good, man. It's like living life on the edge. Is yeah, I made this bed with my friends. That you wouldn't would make it to the last one. That they would take the take a sip from the last oh. one. Oh.
Nah, no, dude, this is fucking <laughs> pussy <laughs> shit. No, it, okay, take this bite, take this bite. Take this bite. Dude, I'm not fucking it. Oh, oh, I'm a slug. I'm a slug. Martin's a guy who's not gonna back down from a challenge. Martin's a guy who, when the going gets tough, doesn't quit. So I respect Martin. Martin, great hot one performance. I respect it, I love it. Feel better? Cool. Starting to come out the other side? Feeling a little bit better? Uh, I signed with Sony because I could really connect with the people there. We had a bunch of meetings and every meeting I left, I left with a good feeling. They're good people and I'm all about good energy. If I get good energy from someone, I want to start working. The first A&R meeting ever with Sony. Super excited, going through all the music, making all the plans. There's so much music that we've been playing since March that we're excited and we're coming out with a plan to put it out. I think we have a pretty cool and exciting idea. And then, you know, follow-up singles for In the Name of Love and just overall world domination. We're here at RCA, um, my new team, family party. I'm just gonna call it a party. We're here together, celebrating In the Name of Love. We're celebrating everything that's coming up. And I'm excited for everything that the future holds for us. So. That is a hot record. Martin Garrett, he's going to be the up on the Remix Top 30 Countdown. We're backstage with DJ producer Martin Garrett. Today we're doing a radio run, so all the big uh, New York radio stations. Because they've been supporting In the Name of Love. <laughs> we're about to launch the record, and he's doing his interviews to set up. When they play the record for the first time, they have an interview and then it goes into rotation. So this is a big deal, a big step in the process right now. It's the weekend throwdown with Shelly Rowe and we have Martin Garrix here. It elevates him to another level. He'll be played with Drake, he'll be played next to Rihanna, he'll be played next to the biggest uh, pop stars in the world. Can get a photo right here, Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I have Martin Garrix in the building. Joining us, though, is the one and only uh, TV celebrity as of late, uh, <laughs> Martin Garrix. And this is part of the process in America. We do it in Los Angeles, in Chicago, and Miami, but this is number one New York. Amsterdam is crazy, so many people outside, and I'm very excited to finally launch the new Plus X merch. So I hope you guys enjoy. I remember last year we were talking, and we were saying every year is getting crazier and crazier and crazier, and yeah, even this year, it's crazier again. Mine is Groen Rex. Your name? Like different to everyone else, it doesn't try and copy anyone. Uh, play the music and the shows, all this. I'm going to go to York Live. I am the first to meet you. Yeah, I'm going to go to York Live. And now, friends. And the ride is very fucking long, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. He makes really good music. And he's very good. This week I'm releasing seven songs in seven days. I just wanted to do it as a thank you for the fans. We've had such a crazy year. I thought my heart was gone. We got seven artists to collaborate with, uh, with each song that I'm about to release on one day. It's gonna be a mix of art and music art. <laughs>
came out beautiful. So every day now, since last Saturday, we're releasing a new song, a new art, a new time-lapse movie. So it's, it became a big project. Sick. Hey, one time. Yo, one time. Today we're gonna do a masterclass in the Adam Tower and I'm really, really excited for it. I love meeting people with the same hobby, the same passion for music and I don't have a lot of secrets in the studio so I'm, I'm very open, I will share them everything I know. And it, I want to inspire them, I want them to, like straight after the masterclass, I want them to go back into their studio and work all night and, and, and feel inspired. I mean the best piece of advice that Martijn personifies, and he didn't need me to teach him this, it's to always work twice as hard as the next guy. If you want something, there's somebody else who wants it just as bad, but you have to work twice as hard as they do. And like we, we discussed, Martin is one of the hardest working guys I know. It's all him. He's the, one of the most humble guys in the game. That really speaks for him, and that's one of the biggest reasons why he has so much success, you know, besides that he's very talented and a real musician. He's a super likable person, so everyone also likes to see him succeed in what he does. This week for me has been such a crazy, unreal week. And I don't know, for me, in, in the beginning of the week, I, I was working, I think, 14 hours a day. And I wasn't really realizing, I wasn't really looking around and, and I wasn't really thinking about everything that was happening. And then on the Wednesday, when I was with my family all together, I was there with Chesto and I started making music because of that guy. And it was emotional. I was there with my family, with my friends, with my amazing team. All the people who I love and all the people who I care about were, were in, in one room. And it was a very, very special, magical moment. And I'm gonna remember that moment forever. Well, we always say that he's a Zondags kind. It's like whatever he touches turns into gold or something. But never forget that like he's from the whole team, he's the most hardworking guy in the team. What does it even mean? No, it doesn't mean well Carl, Carl Cox or like a Chester is number one. I'm like no, yeah, yeah. maybe most popular, but never quality wise. Well, there's been like a million people who voted, you know, took the time to vote all along. So that yes. means something. No. I love those million people. And also all the other fans, but it's crazy. Life's crazy. It's time to reveal who will be the world number one DJ. Four years ago this guy tweeted me, hey Tiesto, thanks for following me. And give me your DM because I have some amazing tracks for you. And it's amazing to see his evolution in the last four years. In only four years time, he became this big. Give it up for the one and only, Martin Garrix. It's crazy, everything that's happened the last four years. I wanna thank every single one of you. I wanna thank my amazing family, my amazing team. I wanna thank this guy for inspiring me since day one. And especially the fans, make some noise yourself, thank you guys so much! For me an award is, is an award, but what matters the most to me is are the fans, is, are the shows. Like, if I see one smile on the face of someone, it makes me happy too. And if I see thousands of smiles, it makes me super happy. That's what I love about doing this the most. <laughs> Last year with the Heidekamp Musical and I was already crazy and this time it's six times bigger. Which is nuts. I'm like, what the fuck. <laughs> We're doing two shows here and one of them is for underage. I'm very excited about it as well because I love doing underage shows because I remember when I was uh, younger and I, uh, my favorite artist came to play in Amsterdam, I would hate it if I could get, if I was not allowed in the club just because of my age. So, and of course the 18th, just in general, the shows, the both shows are going to be so crazy. I'm just blown away. Like there's so many, it's so big, and I can't believe there's so many like 
sell it, sell it out. It's like weird, <laughs> but dope. Watch out, watch out. Hey guys, I want those hey guys, watch out. Yo! Hey, face here, man. Look at that one. And yesterday, uh, it was crazy what happened. Lines to the end of the street, complaining neighbors, etc. So I think it was a good start. Well, a couple months ago we started this uh, very special project uh, for our time. I think uh, they choose us for this because we uh, are very good at making organic high quality uh, products, fair trade as well. So to show the world that it's possible to make uh, fair fashion uh, affordable and fashionable. Are there lasers? Be, uh, no lasers on the intro. We're gonna do, are you gonna play welcome? Mm -hmm. No. You're not gonna play welcome? Uh, play welcome. Please play welcome? Uh, okay. I would like to reveal them on welcome, and if we don't reveal them on welcome, we'll do it on virus. What if I don't play welcome or virus? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking busting my balls. <laughs> How it looks right now. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding! Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you excited? No. Turn up. <laughs> you just fall asleep. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, I, I have a couple surprises, but like, Dude, we do you, the same we thing. can see. It's cool, it's to you. Have fun. I'm playing like weird shit. Let's go, let's do it. This was so 
so crazy. So crazy. I love it. This was one of my favorite shows I've done in my entire life. And they knew every single word to every single song. I played some stuff I made like four, five years ago and they knew it. It was so crazy. Dude, that was legendary. It wasn't fun. Game changer. You know what I like the most? It didn't feel like three hours. That's what I saw in Luke. It's teamwork. It's not for me, it's for us. That was so dope. That was the best show we've done. Hands down. Diamonds in the dust. That is all we are. Some of us give up. It was amazing. Went to Garrix. There's a change in the wind that's blowing And I've still got blood in my heart And though we might not know where we're going I promise we'll never be apart Just pick me up And never let me go We don't need much As long as we're together, together, together I'm gonna play the guitar again. Last time was at the BBC Radio 1 Live Lounge, but there's a difference right now because now there's actually 20,000 people in front of me and 50 million watchers, I think. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We got asked to perform at the EMAs, but they give each artist maybe five minutes, ten minutes max. And at ADE, I, I do a three-hour set, and then you can take people on a journey. You can you can tell your story with the set, and ten minutes is way too short, and five minutes is way too short for that. So I don't know. I I play the guitar, and I was like, let's just do in the name of love. We'll strip it down. We do a cool version of it, and that's what we did. And I'm, I'm very, very excited to perform it live. Then tonight is the big night. And we're also nominated for two awards, which I'm also very excited about. And now we're here at the EMAs, performing with people like The Weeknd and Bruno Mars. Like, it's cool, it's very cool. And he's nominated for two awards this evening, Best Electronic Artist and uh, Best World Stage as well uh, for performance last year. Now we're really breaking through and achieving like the dream goal, which was create a song bigger than animals. And here we go. In the Name of Love featuring B.B. Rexa is, is a monster. Some things you take for granted, some things I took for granted. And then I started touring and then I wasn't around my family all the time. And I miss my mom making breakfast or just like the, the, the smallest little thing. Like I would wake up in the morning and before I go to school, my mom would make me breakfast. And I was like, oh, that's great. It's, I feel like the smallest things, there's so much happiness hidden inside that. And you, you just have to find it and realize it's actually right there.
Thank you guys so much for this award. It means so much to me. I'm still shaking because I just got off stage and performed with DB. Uh, it's unreal. Thank you guys so much. Thank you all for voting. I love all of you and thanks again. Winner of the MTV EMA for Best World Stage is Martin Garrett. This is my beautiful butter. Yeah, I'm so happy right here. Wow. I thought this year wasn't gonna be any crazier after I lost ADE and tonight we got two awards. We did an amazing, amazing show and I'm, I'm, I can't even describe in words how thankful I am for all of your support. My family was here, my amazing team was here, and you guys showed me the craziest support ever, and I want to thank every single one of you, and I can't wait to see you very soon. This year has been amazing and you guys got me all these awards. I didn't even have to ask for votes and, and then I got the DJ Mac awards. I just got the EMAs. It's been crazy and I'm so thankful for all of your support and I feel like we did this together. It's not just me. Music unites people. Everybody understands music. It doesn't matter where you're from and it, what language you speak. Music is that one language that I, I feel like everybody understands. Diamonds in the dust That is all we are some of us give up Some dream of the stars There's a change in the wind that's blowing And I've still got blood in my heart and Though we might not know where we're going I promise we'll never be apart Just pick me up And never let me go I'll just see where it takes me. That's the fun part. I have no idea when we are going to stop, where we are going to stop, if it's ever going to stop, if it's ever going to slow down. Of course it has to be one point, but just every time there's so much crazy things happening. It, it, it's like this roller coaster, it's going like this, and it's still going like this. What will you be performing for us today? We have two yes votes and one no vote. You're going to California! <laughs>